The effects of early exposure to anesthesia on the developing brain responds to the FDA drug safety communication on the potential for neurotoxicity by Dr. Paul Hickey. I am Dr. Paul Hickey. I serve as chair of the Department of Anesthesia at Harvard Medical School and the anesthesiologist in chief at Boston Children's Hospital. Recently, the FDA, the Federal Drug Administration, issued a drug safety communication on the potential for neurotoxicity leading to mild brain injury with anesthesia and sedation drugs in children. This communication stated, to better inform the public about this potential risk, we are requiring warnings to be added to the labels of general anesthesia and sedation drugs. Based on preclinical reports, this FDA warning has certainly increased public awareness of the potential risk of anesthesia and sedation drugs. This warning does not add additional information to our understanding of the issue. We believe that single exposures to a short general anesthetic during infancy and childhood, properly managed, do not result in any developmental impact or measurable neurotoxicity potentially leading to brain injury. The great majority of anesthetics in children fall into this category. However, this FDA warning does oblige clinicians to work together with the family to discuss and balance all the risks of anesthesia, not just brain injury, with the benefits of the proposed procedure or diagnostic test for each child. Since anesthesia and sedation cannot be avoided in most cases, regardless of patient age, it is important to understand the complex mechanisms and effects involved and to develop strategies for avoiding or limiting potential injury. The FDA drug safety communication about anesthesia and sedation drugs underscores the need to pursue clinical investigations. Such clinical investigations in patients will permit more definitive conclusions about potential neurotoxicity and brain injury in humans of all ages and to facilitate the establishment of clinically-based recommendations to guide anesthesia practice. Such investigations are actively underway in pediatric academic medical centers, such as Boston Children's Hospital and other centers around the world. Evidence to date supports the position that the vast majority of anesthetics are not harming the development of the child's brain. In situations where very prolonged or repeated exposures to anesthesia and sedation drugs occur in infants and young children, there is some cause for concern. However, even in such unusual cases, we know that proper management of anesthesia and sedation, as is being done in this institution and others, can minimize exposures to potentially neurotoxic drugs, increase use of safer drugs and techniques, and reduce risk of any impact on brain development. Thank you for watching.